Hello, welcome back. Uh, today, my partner in crime, Mina, and I are going to be exploring what makes Melbourne the hipster capital of the world. And we're going to be going to a couple different restaurants and cafes. But luckily, this time we are not alone in our adventures and we have a few guest stars. <laughs> Alright, first up is serotonin. Here we go. Watch me. Sounds 
good. Even though you're hungry now? <laughs> we're here at Gallimera and we're gonna go around and see what we had. I had the pork subaki. I, and it was delicious. I had the um, salad and meat and I loved it. With meat, grab it. I had the mixed platter and it was amazing. <laughs> I shared with Tara um, and it was three amazing. out of ten hipster level, not hipster at all. <laughs> We're eating this. <laughs> it's a mixed platter. It's, it's really good. It's, it's yummy. <laughs> um, she, I chips. Who bought you the chips? You did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Expensive go. chips. And I had a gyro, a chicken gyro, kota. Oh. Why do you have to do that? Why are you embarrassed? Anyway, it was really good. Hipster rating? Zero. Stop zooming in. My goodness rating. My goodness rating 11. Goodness rating, yeah. goodness rating 11. Hipster, not very. What level? Seven, at least. <laughs> so hipster levels zero, goodness rating is a 10. I can get a 12. A 12. And wog rating is a 7. <laughs> 20 out of 10 for wog rating. 20 out of 10? It's literally great. <laughs> Milan, um, when I asked everyone what the definition of hipster was, they said Milan Batrovic. So now I'm asking you, Milan, what is hipster? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now that we've visited all these hipster restaurants, let's break them down. Our hipster winner is Matcha Milk Bar. Their creativity and willingness to push the envelope when it comes to what food is won them a score of 12 out of 10. In last place is Calamara. Souvlaki in a shovel is pretty, but not necessarily hipster. However, Calamara blew it out of the water with taste, earning a 12 out of 10, and Matcha came in last with a 5. However, this is probably because I went on this journey with a group of Eastern Europeans highly biased towards meat. All the restaurants had high quality food. Finally, an honorable mention to Serotonin and Too Many Chiefs, which served as wonderful backdrops to great breakfasts with friends. Thanks for watching.